Hello again. It's the 3rd of May 2018 and hopefully we're past the snow and frost and cold weather for a while because I really want to get into this boiler and see if I can repair it. I'm, I'm in the process of draining the boiler and what I'm going to do is try to get the water level right down to here. There's really no sense to drain the whole boiler if I don't need to. So what I've done is I have a, a water level right here and I can keep checking on how much water is left in the boiler. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting into here. It could be the abyss. I don't, I don't know. So hang in there with me and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've got the boiler drained down to right here. Hopefully you can see the water level. And that level there is right here on the boiler. So I'll get you set up on a tripod and we'll see about getting these bolts out. Now the challenge is going to be, obviously, nine bolts coming out doesn't cut it. All 10 bolts have to come out. If one gets stuck and or if any of them gets snapped, I could be royally screwed. Okay, here we go. Bolt number one. Oh my God. And tight. Bolt number two. A little more than hand tight. Bolt number three. Ugh. Wonder who put this together. Bolt number four. I'm grateful. Hand tight. Bolt number five. Almost nothing on that bolt. Bolt number six, nothing. Hand tight. Hand tight. Hand tight. Hand tight. Hand tight. Well, whoever put this together, I give them a big fat F. How about that? Yes, I'm grateful they're coming out, but as you saw, absolutely nothing. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, and once I get this, these bolts out of here, well, I'll just take a look at what these bolts look like. They're plain old steel bolts, not brass or anything. There's one. A little bit of corrosion. That wasn't leaking too bad. 16 months old. See what kind of uh, mess we get behind this. Get to take our first look inside a Glenwood boiler.
some kind of rubber gasket on the back side of this thing. Well, that's the back side. Now, the reason this is here is for those people that want domestic hot water, there's a domestic hot water coil that goes in here. Okay, well, let's take a peek inside here. Oh, they're, oh, they look like they're welded from the back side. They're just plain old couplers that are welded on the back so water doesn't leak out. Well, there's your grand view of a Glenwood boiler. It's a plain old welded up box. They try to make it something that fancy. It's not. Well, there you go. Uh, that's it for now.